Previously on the Steve Saga. I I know what we can do. Oh, really? Okay, okay what right, you got? Yeah. What's your idea? Okay, as soon as I connect this right here. Uh-huh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. All right, you, okay. you're not even ready. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm ready. You got to tell. What's the plan? You obviously this? figured all this out. What is it? So all I have to do uh -huh. is place this final block. Yeah, 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 okay. And... All right. And... Alex, 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 please tell me that you, you were, that was, this is a prank. Alex, hello? Uh-oh. Villains aren't always so obviously cut and dry. Sometimes, it isn't simply just an evil-looking monster that hates all things good deep down to the bone. Things can be complicated. All the more reason for me to find my friends. That's right. The gang's getting back together. Cause, well... This... This is the Steve Saga. Alex! Uh, Alex! Come on, Alex. I know this is a this is a sick joke. This is a sick prank, right? Hello, hello, Alex. Come on, come on out of there. Come on. I know I told you that it was gonna be safe. This is not the time to pull pranks on me. Because <laughs> seriously, I'm gonna have a mental breakdown if you actually got sucked into that thing, Alex. Oh, okay, all right. She sucked in there. She got actually absorbed by that thing. And this is gonna be it. This is it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What do I do? What do I do? Oh, oh I gotta get out of here, man. Okay. I told her that it was gonna be fine, but it's not. Okay. Okay. Well, this is fine. This is gonna be fine. Okay. I think I need some air. I need some fresh air. Okay. Oh, okay. I know what I can do. I can just leave this entire place behind and start a new life. I can pretend like nothing happened and no one will know because it's just me now. This is, this is fine. I'm gonna go by name of Senor, Senor Chicken. That's right, and I'm going to change the world through feeding... Well, I guess I don't really know if there's anyone else in this world, but it's fine! It's fine, I'm just gonna leave it all behind! And no one will know that Alex got absorbed by that thing, so we're good. No one will know what? Oh, what? Oh my gosh, Guardian! How did you... Why are you even here? What happened? Wait, what? I mean, whoa, hey, wait, actually, hey, I'm glad you're here, man. <sighs> Honestly, uh, my memory's a little fuzzy. I was having some troubles, and I was... Teleported to I don't exactly know where, and, but then then I was teleported here. Oh well, that's cool, man. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know, I'm glad I could see ya. I'm glad we could meet. You know, it's been a while, Guardian. We were searching for you, dude. We tried to save you from the spirit world, and I guess the reason you're here is probably because of well, because of us. So that's cool. That's good. Yes, yes, it's really good to see you again, Sabres. Is something wrong? No, nothing's wrong at all, dude. At all. Ah, you know, it's been it's been a long day. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna just go ahead and hit the hay, and uh, I'll see you later, bro. Going to sleep. What? You're just gonna go to sleep in that hole. Yeah, I think I am just going to go to sleep in this hole. This is my hidey hole. This is my sleepy. This is my bed. You got a problem with that? Don't don't be ridiculous, Sam. Are you? I haven't seen you in a while. You have to tell me what's happened. What's going on? Catch <laughs> me up on everything. Ah, uh, all right. Yeah, man. Yeah, sure. Yeah, bro. Yeah, for sure. For sure, dude. Yeah. Yeah, bro. We're chill. Okay, so this, uh, first of all, let me just explain this to you. Um, this area, or this entire area, yeah, uh, is from, uh, from some weird world. And, well, when we went looking for you in the spirit world, like I said, I was gonna go find you, right? Um, <clears throat> well, we ended up going to that blank area that you mentioned, and then we met Hypno Steve. Hypno Steve was there. Actually, do you even know Hypno Steve? Do you remember Hypno Steve? Have I ever mentioned him to you? Yes, I, I'm familiar with Hypno Steve. Oh, right. I forgot that he's from the spirit world. Okay, well, either way, yeah, he was there. He, he left the spirit world to come and save us, and, well, then he... To help us get out of the spirit world because well in that world it was just blank nothingness But then we teleported to a world world a weird world that looked like this, but wait we could... wait hold 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 on hold yeah. on Yeah Hypno Steve we're talking about the same Hypno Steve, right? He, yeah. he helped you? Yeah, yeah, I know I was also shocked I mean he did he was the one that also kind of defeated origin Steve, but 
Uh, he, um, he, he, he really wanted to help us. He, with the help of a bunch of other Steves, of course, they gave him some powers so that he could leave the spirit world so that he could go save them. I, I think he, he's really become a nice person. I thought you would know, aren't you? Uh, don't you look over the spirit world? Shouldn't you know these things? Well, I do look over the spirit world, but I, I haven't been able to in a while, I think, sure. Ah, right. I forgot about that whole your work. You were working for Illusion Steve thing. Wow, that already seems like it happened such a long time ago because a lot has happened since then. The Guardian. A lot. A lot okay, has so, happened. So, so continue. He was he was helping you. Yes, he helped us escape to a new world so we could actually try and get back to the regular world. And, well, we came to a world that was like this, except we couldn't break, break anything. But obviously now I can break things. So what happened is we found a green Steve. He seemed very kind, but he was actually a lunatic. Here, let me go ahead and explain this to you. So he was like, oh, yeah, wow, watch out. There's evil things out here. And he tricked us into thinking that we should go sit, go hide into it in his house um, because something evil was going to attack us. So we were like, oh, no. And then we ran inside of here, which was just a trap. And he was actually the lunatic, and he was the evil one. So in that world, the green Steve was, he was the evil crazy one. And it was bad. It was very bad. That's very strange. Oh, okay. Okay. But Hypno Steve didn't get trapped, so he he saved us. We uh, found out that the Green Steve had a laboratory. We went down. We tricked the Green Steve. Yeah, you might want to come over here. We tricked the Green Steve and we uh, locked him out of his own laboratory. And now we use his own lab to basically teleport ourselves into the regular world, which for some reason brought this lab and the area around it with us. So it was yeah, it was good, I guess. It was very good of Hypno Steve to help you. What? If he helped you, where is he? Oh, yeah. Well, here, let me show you around. So this is a portal. This is the portal that we went through um, and then broke so that no one could follow us through. And, well, that's this. I mean, that's basically that's that. Uh, hey, wait a second. I should probably close the door because I forgot to mention that crazy green Steve. Oh, yeah, right. He also followed us through this world and he's crazy and I think he's out to get us. So let me go ahead and close this door up. Oh, oh, so that he doesn't actually, you know, <clears throat> try and, you know, attack us or destroy us, etc. I don't know what he's capable of. Anyway, so that's the portal. This is some cool, I don't know, this is, there's brewing stations. I don't know, this is all the green Steves. Uh, this is a crystal designed to hold a bunch of power of Steves that were absorbed, and it's super evil, and it's unstable, and it could destroy us all. And then over oh, here wait, is... Oh, wait, oh, so I'm, I'm sorry, could you... Could you repeat that, please? Yeah, there's an end crystal that was uh, that was taken, and the green Steve was absorbing a bunch of Steves. Not just there's there's energy, not just their souls. Uh, entirely, it entirely absorbed Steves, um, and we used it to get back to the regular world. You could say that that's messed up, okay? But we had no other choice. And oh my, oh my goodness, that's terrifying. You were just you were just gonna brush over that. Well, I mean, yeah, you know, there's a lot of other things that have happened. Anyway, so over here uh, is Hypno Steve about to be destroyed, and we're ba barely keeping him alive inside of a machine. So that's that. And, uh, you know, feel oh, free to keep yourself, dear. you know, make yourself at home. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's not good at all, uh -huh. Saber. You actually seem pretty calm given the circumstance. Oh, no, I've just completely accepted the fact that uh, everything has fallen apart, and I definitely wasn't about to just leave this place behind. 100%. Not at all. Oh, oh. Okay, but wait, wait a second. Uh huh. Where is Alex? Oh, Alex! Oh, right, Alex. She. There we go. Okay. She is. Um. Uh. She went to go get some groceries. She went to get what? She went to get food. She went to get resources. Uh. She said that she had a dentist appointment or something. Man, I don't know. I don't know what that means. What's a dentist? She she went to the doctors to get a checkup. You were speaking a bunch of nonsense terms to me, and I don't really know what to mean. All right, look, man, I'll be I'll, I'm not fine. I'll be honest with you. Alex decided to become a scientist, so she left to go to college. That's okay, the all truth. Okay, all of this sounds very strange. That's the complete truth, man. Why don't you tell me what's really going on here? Look, I'm telling you, Hypno Steve's just taking a nap and he's gonna be fine. And Alex left to become a scientist. She went to college. No, he's not gonna be fine. You said he's about to be destroyed. And <clears throat> you, you, are you trying to tell me Alex, in the midst of all this chaos, decided to just leave you and go do something else? I know, man. It was pretty messed up, bro. I tried to stop her and I was like, hey, think about the Guardian, you know? Like, think about him. He, what if he shows up? He's going to miss you. And she was like, whatever. I want I want education. And so then she went to go become a scientist. It was really crazy. Saber, that doesn't sound like the Alex I know at all. 
I know, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you tell me what's really going on? <sighs> okay, fine. Look, we were trying to save Hypno Steve. Hypno Steve is very close to falling apart. The only reason he was able to leave the spirit world is because all those Steves gave him enough power to be able to leave in the first place. But the longer he was gone, I'm sure you know, the faster he loses his power. He also exhausted a lot of his power trying to save us from the spirit world when it was just that blank world. And also helping us leave that other world that had the evil Steve. Well, I mean, he's also here now, but you know what I mean. So he's dangerously close to falling apart, and we don't want him to, so I kept him in that stasis until we could figure it out. Then I had an idea. That idea being, if we can directly route some of the power from this thing, we could probably give him enough energy to be able to return to the regular spirit world. And, well... I think I think you're gonna assume the rest, right? You don't need to hear the rest. That's it. That's totally what happened. That's it. We saved him. Okay, let me try to understand. This thing right here, which you said completely destroys Steve's and absorbs all their powers and everything. Yeah. You and Alex decided to try to use it yep. to help Hypno Steve. Exactly, exactly. And it, it worked perfectly. Nothing went wrong at all. Then where's Alex? Oh, Alex! Oh, did I forget to mention that that thing absorbed her? <laughs> oh, that's my bad. What? I, I did. I, I, look, it was an accident, man. Okay, look. I want. I was gonna do it myself, but when you place things inside of there, lightning happens, and I'm vulnerable to lightning. Alex has powers. She doesn't. She's not affected by that type of lightning. So I told her that she should go in there and place the redstone herself to complete the circuit. I guess when she completed the circuit, she kind of got absorbed by the thing. That's that's terrible. I thought you said nothing went wrong. Look, I just wanted to pretend like nothing went wrong because I have no idea how to fix this, man. Okay, I'm just glad you're here because whoa. I, I thought it was gonna be all alone. I mean, Hypno Steve is over there, but it's not like he can do anything. He's just stuck in there. I don't know what to do, bro. Okay? The only thing that I can think of is to try and save Alex, but you can't, okay? You can't take anyone that once went in there back out. That's what Hypno Steve said. And plus, it, the only thing I can think of is, is if we just tried to reach in there ourselves and get her, but that's, that's not gonna happen. Maybe Hypno Steve was mistaken. Maybe there is a way to get her back. There's gotta be something we can do. My only hypothesis that could be is if that thing is holding a bunch of Steve's souls and spirits and bodies and just everything, then it's probably got its own world inside of it. So what? What do you expect, man? You want me to just go in there and get Alex myself? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. I think that's exactly what we're going to have to do, Saber. Wait, Gar Guardian, I was saying that as a joke, you know? You know what a joke is? Not gonna actually go inside of that thing and try and get Alex. You you understand what could happen if we can't get ourselves out of there? We just went to the spare world to get you and we couldn't get ourselves out of there. What happens if we go in there and we can't break blocks in there? Well, do you have any better ideas? I say we change our names to Senor, Senor Chicken and Senor Guardian and we travel the world feeding the hungry. As the weird yet noble as that sounds, I don't think we can do that, Saber. You know what we have to do. I know. We have to save Alex. All right. Well, we don't really have to change much to be able to go in after her, but are you sure you want to do this as well, man? You you just kind of got back. If you want to come with me, I, I first of all, I won't question it because that makes me feel a lot more com comfortable with uh, doing this, but I already just left these worlds, and the second we go back in there, we're getting stuck again. We're back in the regular world where Galaxy Steve is too. We were so close to just fixing all of this and because I told Alex to work on this machine, we're set back again. Of course I want to come with you, Saver. This, what else are we gonna do? We have to save Alex. <sighs> all right. Well, this place is locked down and as long as it's locked down completely, I'm guessing that green Steve won't come anywhere near us. I'm gonna close it up a little more just in case. He'll probably think that we completely locked it down and we're still in here. So if we both go in there and there's no one else here to actually protect it, let's just hope that the green Steve doesn't actually try and break in. He does seem pretty did, scared. Did a good job of blocking the exit. Ah, ah, okay, let's go save Alex. Come on. We're going to break the glass and I'm guessing the only thing we really need to do is do exactly what Alex did, which is just stand near this thing. Okay? So run at it like a portal? Yeah? Uh, yeah, I suppose. All right, I'll go first here. Let's take a nice step back. Alex, we're coming to save you. And hopefully this doesn't tear us apart and destroy us. Did I forget to mention that that could happen? Let's go. Ah! 